Hello everyone and welcome to The Sims 4 Amazon Challenge Episode 7. I know it's been about three months since I last recorded a video. I was having some rough times but I'm back in it now. I did change a few things. I changed Queen Cordelia's hairstyle to be a bit more humble, I guess. And I think it's prettier too anyway. I also changed Sylvie's hair and I also changed Sergio's outfit to be a bit more servant-like. Hey, I think he looks pretty good honestly, but to each their own. Okay, let's start. Okay, I'll download that later. So he seems to be talking it up, inappropriately speaking about urinals with Sylvie. And she likes it for some reason. Okay, that's that's great. <laughs> um Sergio was sorry, I'm trying to catch up here. Sergio was the guy that Sylvia was trying to um get in good graces with to make a baby, I suppose. Though I guess that's not really gonna happen now that he's a servant. And Queen Cordelia is pregnant. She and Paolo conceived a child of sorts, so we can definitely look forward to that in a couple days. Alright, Sylvie, um, does Demona want to sleep? Well, she needs to wake up because everyone is really hungry, and one bowl of oatmeal with strawberries is not good enough, I'm afraid. Okay, uh... Let us cook something. And Violetta is now fitness level 4! Yes! Go Violetta. She is so good. Except... Not that. Huzzah! Huzzah Violetta. So... I am just the screenshot queen, so if you see me taking tons of screenshots no complaints! Okay, very, very nice. Hurry up. See, you're hungry, you have sore muscles, everything is sore. Whew! Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, Sylvie is still talking to him. I think things are going well. They seem to be going well, at least. Um... Alright. So. And she's feeling energized for whatever reason, so there's that, too. Didn't I tell you to cook? What are you doing? Ugh. This is so frustrating. And my menu is really messy, too. Okay. Let's just toss this stuff out here. Alright, everyone who is hungry should come eat now. Sergio, you're gonna have to forage for some food. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Take a piece of that. Take a piece of that. And Queen Cordelia gets the last oatmeal serving. Oh no, she's having morning sickness at night time. That is so sad. It's alright, honey. Oh. Oh, look at her face. I really feel for the queen. She's having so much trouble. Oh. Okay. Well, everyone except our vampire is eating. Naturally. Though, our vampire is quite dirty, so we need to take care of that. Alright, go take a shower, girlfriend. Sergio is doing okay. Oh, he's going to- wow. Talk about being on top of things, yes. You are actually being a good servant so far. Wow, okay. That's not good though. Sylvie went outside to talk to your ass and you're just- <gasps> What is this? Girlfriend. No, he's Sylvie's. You can't. Oh no, she's fertilizing plants too. Okay, well that's good. 
and she's going to go take a shower now, which is perfectly fine. I think our queen- well, no, everyone seems to not need to sleep, even though it's midnight. Okay, talk about things being a bit off. This is not good. And Violetta's also getting a bit thirsty. Though, now that we have Sergio here, we can easily drink from him whenever we please. So that's a plus. <laughs> that's one of the many pluses to having Sergio around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Feeling confident. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. You shake that confidence. Alright, Desdemona. What's going on? Hey, Queen Cordelia. Let's go experience more of the unique culture that the city provides. I hear there's an opera tonight at around 8. Wanna go? Let's actually go. Because <laughs> things are a bit boring at the house right now. And the Queen needs to do something fun. Also to help get her mind off the constantly recurring pregnancy issues. Why are you shirtless? No. <laughs> I need to- I need to figure that out because that's obviously an issue. No, we're supposed to go, aren't we? We were supposed to go out with Joaquin. What the heck? Whatever. Oh. What's going on here? Just chatting with Desdemona. That's good. Hmm. Alright. Why do they keep showering like half naked? That is not good. Well, Sergio, we need to put you to work. Doing something. Let's have him collect. And harvest. <gasps> and fish! Yes. Because now we don't have to make Sylvie necessarily go collect and, and harvest everything. Though she is a gatherer and that's her only natural- that's her natural instinct to go do that, so. She will do that, but we can have Sergio help her too. Speaking of which, does she have anything in her inventory? Oh yeah, she's breeding these frogs. <gasps> oh my! Oh, oh my. Oh. My. Oh. <laughs> it's worth it because, well, hopefully there's a girl. Ahem. Sergio, you need to go clean that toilet. Mop that up. Seriously. Hmm, what's going on here? Nothing really. Hey, that's okay. Alright, so I think that it would be a better idea for me to shorten the episodes because usually they're about 30 minutes long and I feel like that's a bit too long. So now they're going to be about 20 minutes. Hope that's okay with you guys. Also, I'm going to be starting a new LP. Um, the story of the goth family. It will be um, in The Sims 4. And I'll mainly be focusing on Bella, so that's definitely something to look forward to. Alright, let's open these capsules when we can. Stop fishing. There's other things that need tending to. Yes. No, sorry. Why is it- oh, okay. I'm like, it says she's over there for some reason, but things seem to be okay. We need more money for sure. Katrina is our prime money maker at the moment, so she needs to start. She needs to start getting with the program. Okay. Alright, Sergio. You need to clean this toilet, like for real. Or is this. Okay, let's unlock that. No, don't use the toilet. <laughs> Clean the toilet. Do not use the queen's toilet. That is absolutely incorrigible. And our queen seems to be a bit down in the dumps. 
Um, hmm. <clears throat> Sorry. Not used to um, doing this voiceover stuff, so my throat is already starting to hurt. Oh no, she seems okay now. She still has that first kiss thing going on. <clears throat> and we do need to work on getting these other girls pregnant, so we should probably take them out. Alright, let's go. Let us travel. We are going to take Sylvie, Violetta, Jennifer, Katrina, Desdemona with us. Yeah. Okay. And we'll go somewhere fun, I think. Hopefully we can find somewhere fun to go so that maybe we can find some other sad sap to be making babies with. Okay, let's see. No, 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 no. A park? Yeah, well... I need to start putting down other venues because I don't like the selections here at all. Okay, we'll go to the Shrieking Llama. <clears throat> Maybe we can find some good males to hit up and conceive some babies with. Oh, I haven't talked about this. Cats and dogs. I've been enjoying it so far. I'm not going to do an LP on it though because everyone is and you probably don't want to see that, do you? Nope. So, I'm just going to be doing my own more unique things, I suppose. Okay, um, Bob Pancakes is here. I mean, I know he's married, but <laughs> that doesn't really matter in the Amazon challenge, you know? So, we could have the girls, like, chat him up, I guess. Let's... Let's order a round of drinks for the group. Some... Some sparkling water sounds nice and simple. Don't need the girls to be getting drunk already, you know? Alright, who is going to be talking to Bob? What is going on here? Oh, we're talking to this bald person. That's good. <gasps> Bjorn. Yes. And we have Dominic Fires over here. He's he's quite a fine man too. Okay. Jennifer, you go talk to him. Katrina, you go talk to Bjorn. And uh, who is going to talk to Bob? How about let's have Violetta talk to Bob. Maybe not immediately reveal that she's a vampire, you know? Alright, let's, let's have a conversation with him. He's feeling flirty. Ooh, these, this might go well. Sul sul. Sul sul. <laughs> Alright, heartfelt compliment. Get out of our way. Get to know. Um, ask about his career. He's a slob. That's fine. Maybe make a flirtatious joke? Ooh. Oh, he's flirting with us. Violetta has learned that Bob is a caterer, caterer at Make-A-Dish. Girl, if you need to use the bathroom, go use the bathroom. Don't, don't pee yourself. Okay, Jennifer. How is everything going with Dominic? Are you getting to know him? This is perfect conversing time with some men. Because these ladies will just die out and no one will be able to further the clan if we don't do this. How are wow, she's already getting kind of flirty and stuff with Bob. This is good. Maybe kiss his hands. Oh, that's not good. No, don't kiss his hand. Hmm. Oh, no. Let's brighten his day. Though he still seems to be in a 40 mood. 
So we just need to kind of rectify the certain conversation and then maybe he'll feel a bit better about us. <laughs> Brighten his day a bit more. Um, Katrina was talking. Yep, she's, she's going at it with Bjorn. Jennifer, why are you not talking to Dominic? I mean, she kind of is. That's good. Enthuse about fruitcake. <laughs> I mean, uh, to each their own, I guess. Let's keep talking to Bob. Shout forbidden words at Bob. Uh, how about not? Let's recall our mortal life. Though that will be revealing that we're a vampire, I think it's better sooner than later to reveal such a such a shocking detail. You know? Alright, let's have a deep conversation with Bob. Um, discuss some fitness techniques. Ask him about his day. Katrina, Katrina, Katrina. Talk to Bjorn. How could you mess up the chance to talk to such a stunning young lad? <laughs> Let's just not turn hysterical, okay? I know you're in a playful mood, but there's a difference between being- <laughs> Okay, sorry. But it is my favorite man in the whole game. <clears throat> uh, who does not- who is not tied up with a man right now? Desdemona. You are gonna go talk to Akira. Seriously, go talk to him. He's sitting over there. I'm just gonna make hand gestures and be rude, apparently. But he's laughing, so it's not that bad. Alright, let's get to know him, discuss his interests, give him a heartfelt compliment. You know, Akira, I just... I love everything about you. Marry me? <laughs> no. You can't marry a man in this challenge. That's a no-no. You only make babies. Uh-oh. The queen is a bit drunk. And she's dancing. While facing a wall. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Oh, queen. Oh, do not- oh, Do not close- Or- Do not open the door on our queen. How dare you. That is... <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> okay. And... Katrina is... Getting to know our Bjorn a bit better. Mm -hmm. Talk about the good times. Or the good timers. It's a club. Jealous schmellish. Ugh. Who, need Who cares? So what if he's a bit jealous? He's still the best man in the game. Hmm. Let's boast about our non-existent family. Well, our family of women. I guess they're a family. They are a family. They're all good friends with each other, and they're... Well, they might not all be good friends with each other, but they're still a family. How is Violetta's conversation- Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Oh no, she's not talking to Bob anymore. Bob! Where's Bob? Did he leave? Oh, that's sad. Where is he? What? Oh no, I was clicking on Sylvie. Okay. There. Okay. I think he left. Let's send him a happy text and maybe he'll ask us to go out somewhere with him. In which we would politefully accept. <laughs> Oh no. Things be getting a little heavy here. Well, no, not really. Who is Jennifer talking to? I cannot recall. She was- Oh, Dominic. Where is he? Where is Dominic? Did he leave? Oh, this is rough, guys. They keep leaving- Oh, he's nearby. Okay, let's look for him then. I do not see him, that's a problem. Where is he? Where's Dominic? Is he in the bathroom? No. Oh, there's a downstairs. Hello there. 
This... <laughs> Unlocked door for us. So that we can go sneak down there. No. It's okay. We can text him later. <laughs> I have to say, she's so pretty. Despite her... Her drunkenness. She's quite pretty right now. So how are things going with Akira? She seems to be getting along pretty well with him. Let's do an impression. Tell him a self-deprecating joke because we are also drunk. <laughs> Laugh at all of his jokes, girl. That's exactly how you get it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm sorry, that was kind of obnoxious. Let's debate the existence of vampires right next to her. Did she order that? I did not allow her to speak of the devil. Here is the lead character that's going to be in my new LP. <gasps> Bella Goth. It's Bella Goth herself, damn. Damn, look at her. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. No shame, right? No shame. Alright, so things are going well with Akira. Yes, deep conversation. Things are going well with Bjorn. Just gonna enthuse about some new albums because we are musically inclined after all. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think it might be a good idea for Queen Cordelia and Sylvie to go home. Because their men are gone. Their- well, their men aren't even here, so there's no point in even- Cordelia's pregnant and Sylvie's potential man is already over at the house. So I think I'm just gonna have them both go back. Yes, I know you want to gaze and- and- does she bite? How to impress a guy 101. <laughs> yes, Violetta. That's exactly. That's exactly what you do. <laughs> okay. Yep. Now two people are doing it. Did I not tell you girls to go home? Seriously, both of you go home. There's no need for you to be here anymore. Done with Dario, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and chat him up. It's now 6.15 a.m. Because, like I said, everyone's um, sense of time seems to be quite off. Anyway, guys, I think that this is a good place to end right here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you tune in for episode 8. I will see you next time. Goodbye.